we're going to have a look at a 12 month review of a hive heating system. So the building that the system is gone into is a Victorian end of terrace built approximately 1890 to 1880. And it's construction is that of 450 millimeters of solid stone for the main walls of the building. The roof does have some insulation. So we're looking at probably about 175 millimeters of mineral wool. Um, and the single story wrap around to the rear where the kitchen is, is got 300 millimeters of mineral wool. The walls themselves do not have any insulation added. The heating system on the building is that of a gas boiler. Now this currently does not have a thermostat. Um, so it's literally a case of going to the boiler and turning it on and off manually. The previous two year average for the gas consumption of this building, bearing in mind that this would take into account hot water as well as heating, is 19,000 kilowatt hours per year. The hive system itself that's been installed consists of the thermostat we can see there in the bottom right hand corner the hub which goes to connect to the internet and then the actual element that connects to the boiler as well to link it up and we've also got a number of trvs so the idea is here that the thermostat and the trvs can be independently controlled via the app on your mobile device and these you can set individual temperatures to so you can have the different rooms of the house to automatically turn off their heating when they reach desired temperatures. And then the thermostat would turn off the whole heating system when the lounge area you can see here would have reached temperature. So in the building, we can see we've got a thermostat in the lounge, a TRV in the study and a TRV in each of the bedrooms to allow quite a lot of independent temperature control throughout the building. So how much did this cost and how has it fared over the last 12 months? Well, the cost of the system was £230 for the components. And then I installed that myself. So that obviously didn't cost me anything. If you were to look at these at today's prices and pay for an installer, you're probably looking at more like four to £450. But as we can see, there's been quite a substantial saving in the amount of gas used. So for the 12 months that have passed with the system installed, we have 1,250, 1, oh, sorry, 12,115 kilowatt hours, which represents a 36.2% saving. Now, there's a change in gas prices throughout the year. So I factored that in by here and we can see that that means there was a spend of £1,188, but a saving of £430 in that one year alone. Now, gas prices are probably remaining at that higher rate or very similar to them for the next um, period of time. So as we can see, though, the money being saved is quite substantial compared to the cost of installation. And you're probably going to make the money back in the first year of having it installed on a similar sort of building to what we've looked at here. So was it worth me installing the Hive heating system? Absolutely.